Been a bit, but welcome to another episode of All Code Sucks, where we take a look at some code that actually exists in production, or existed in this particular case, uh, and walk you through why it has problems and how you should go about fixing it. This one, I got no excuses for this one. This this piece of code was was um one of one of the wildest I've seen in a while. Um, a little bit of background here. I was cleaning up the structure of one of our tables that worked. Uh, I noticed a few of the records, exactly three out of thousands of rows in this table, had weirdly corrupted JSON data. And I wasn't exactly sure why, um, but I later found a different problem that led me to a piece of code that looks something like the code here. Um, basically, some, some background on this. Uh, it was found that a particular table was holding form fields for a particular submitted uh, event, and form fields sometimes contained things that probably shouldn't have ended up in the database. Um, yeah, some, something like that. Just the entire form data was inside of a field. Uh, this had only happened for like a period of a few days once it was noticed. Uh, the code was changed to not put all of the form data into the database, and a migration that looks something like this was run to redact all of the data in the data store. Um, and <laughs> they decided, the, the author of the code review, or of the pull request, decided to take a shortcut here and attempt to redact this data using a regular expression. It looked something like this. Uh, it matched a comma and then the key in the JSON, which this part's fine. That's always going to match. There's no spaces in the particular JSON formatter that we use, so there's never going to be a space after this colon here. So this, this all matches literally fine. And then it matched a double quote. Any character uh, non-greedy, so in this case it matches the shortest sequence possible, and then a double quote. So basically this is saying like, don't match another double quote, go until you see the first double quote. Uh, which is all fine and dandy if the value here doesn't contain a double quote. If it does, then this just silently corrupts your JSON data and you're not able to read it out anymore. And that's what actually happened. Okay, so that's the bad thing, you know, corrupting data because you're applying a regular expression to JSON, which uh, may contain embedded double quotes in your string here. How do you do this the right way? The right way to do this is to actually query and update the data as JSON. I believe Postgres even has mechanisms for uh, manipulating JSON data, although I believe it needs to use a JSON column, and I think this was actually a text column at the time, and so it wouldn't have been able to do that in, um, in the query language itself. It would have, well, I guess you could probably convert it to JSON, then manipulate it, then convert it back to text, or cast it back to text, cast it to JSON. Uh, using database mechanisms, but just write code to do this. <laughs> this this was, I know, admittedly quick and dirty because they wanted to fix it as quick as possible. Uh, but this had some unintended fallout with three corrupted rows, and uh, yeah, generally can can lead to not the results that you want. But anyway, hopefully you found this interesting. This is a real piece of code that I saw in production, and. Uh, Hopefully you can avoid running regexes across JSON data and why you might not be able to write a proper regex to match that particular thing. Now, I guess you probably, um, one could probably write a regex for the string atom in a JSON format and get this correct, but this extremely simple regex was never really going to cut it there. Uh, you would have to deal with backslashes and, well, probably just backslashes. So maybe it's not that hard. But anyway, hopefully you found this interesting, and I will see you in the next.